Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of FTB Departed. And in today's episode, we're going to be digging a little bit further into Botania. We took a look at it in yesterday's episode, but uh, we didn't get quite as much done as I wanted to. So, in today's episode, we're going to be working on a few additional things, starting out with making the Runic Altar. So, what we'll need is a Mana Diamond or a Mana Pearl. You get one of those by simply throwing a Diamond or an Ender Pearl into a Mana Pool. So that's easy enough. Then, you take Living Rock and put it in there and that will give you this Runic Altar right here. Now as long as you put the Altar down reasonably close to a Mana Pool, There we go. You should be in good shape, I th think. I don't think you need another mana spreader. Maybe you do need another mana spreader. I guess we'll find out. Um, actually, let's just go ahead. Oh, I don't have any gold. Okay. Well, we'll find out if we actually need the, uh, the mana spreader or not. Because what I want to make is I want to make this right here. The Sojourner's Sash. It's a really cool item that lets you do some really cool stuff. Now, you do need a block of coal, and we need some mana steel ingots. Now, mana steel ingots are also pretty easy to get. All you gotta do is take iron ingots and toss those in there. And that will give us three of them. Now, I am lucky enough to have actually found some mana steel ingots, which are sitting right up here in a... Hey, get, get up there. Which are sitting right up here in a chest, and we're also going to grab um, a gold ingot, too, in case I need another mana spreader, and some coal as well, just because I have a feeling I'm going to need it at some point. If nothing else, we'll use it to power this guy, the Endo Flame. So let's go ahead, let's actually just make a couple blocks of coal. Seven should be a decent start. And this is basically just a pretty good way to generate mana fairly quickly. It's not the best way, it's not the most efficient way, especially this early in the game when I probably could be using my coal for better things, but that's alright. So now, to make this Rune of the Earth, we need a mushroom, a block of coal, some smooth stone. So we should have most of this. So let's go... Um, one. Okay, so there's our three mana steel ingots. We needed one bit of smooth stone. And then we're also going to need one block of coal and a mushroom. Now, I don't think I have any mushrooms on me, but there happens to be some just kind of hanging out right here. So we'll make use of these. And all you got to do is right click the, uh, there we go. You just got to right click and then it's good. Now, this is the part where I find out. Okay, so I'm thinking. Yeah, I think we do need a mana spreader. Okay. Easy enough. So, we'll just grab that. We'll grab one gold ingot. We'll grab one black petal. And we can put that right here. And that will start working our way up to this earth rune, which is pretty cool. Now, we're also going to need for this a rune of air. So, we're going to need string, feather, and carpet. And we got monsters and stuff coming after me. Let's get that guy out of there. Now, I can get the carpet from right here. String, I believe, I have up in my chest. And I know I got a bunch of feathers. So we should have everything we need. Well, we're waiting on that other little bit to kind of do its thing. So, into the house. And up here, let's see if we can find... Oh, come back, you. 
There we go. So let's see. We needed carpet. We needed feathers. And we needed string. There's string. There's a feather. That ought to do the trick. And carpet. And the rest of this, I think I can probably just put away, honestly. I don't think I'm really going to need it. Yeah. Okay. So that should be everything we need. And then, of course, we will need the uh, the three mana steel ingots as well, but those we have. So, we can check and see that this is basically ready to go. So all you need to do is take a piece of living rock uh, and not and not do that. Take, take a piece of living rock and throw it onto the altar. Right? No? There we go. Throw it onto the altar and then right-click it with the wand, and that will give you the rune. There we go. So now the next one is the rune of air. Once again, we need our three mana steel ingots. One, two, three. We need our... Feather, our carpet, and our string. Like so. And then we need to right-click it with the Wand of the Forest. And before too long, this progress bar will fill up all the way. And then we'll have these two runes. Ooh, looks like I do need one more mana steel ingot. Suppose we should probably get that. Oh, this thing is, like, out of mana. That's a problem. Kind of. Let's get our air runes. And let's feed this guy right here, the endo flame. Let's feed him another block of coal. And hopefully we'll get some mana in here pretty soon. There we go. It's filling up. It's getting there. It's just... Oh. Is he still? He might still be processing the other one. All right, guys, let me get some mana built up. Let me go take a nap, and I will be back in just a moment. All right, guys, I am back, and we've got we've got some things we got to deal with. Man, look at these guys. They're everywhere. Get them. Ghost Reapers or something. I don't know what the... No. Here's another one. Scary, scary, nasty things that want to kill me. I don't know why we can't just be friends and get along, but so be it. Now, I've finally got enough left to, or enough mana built up to get this last mana steel ingot. So, assuming that these cows can give me four leather. There's two. There we go, four leather. Now, I can go ahead and make myself a Sojourner's Sash. And this is going to be an awesome thing to have. Because if you go to your baubles and equip that in the belt slot, it lets you run faster and it gives you step assist. So it'll just make getting around the world a lot easier. Doesn't actually provide any armor, I don't think, but still, really, really cool, useful thing to have around. So let's clear out some of this inventory stuff that we don't really need right now. And then we'll take a look at some other things that we can do as well. Because there is one, maybe two other items that I'd really like to get my hands on. So let's make some more mana using that coal. And the next thing I want is a ring. And it is that one right there. The ring of magnetization. So we need a mana lens, which is... Four mana steel ingots and a glass pane. Okay. Well, I don't have any glass panes on me, but I can certainly go get some. I believe my glass is in... Here? There we go. Might as well get our normal glass, too. You never know. So we've got that. Gold, iron. I will need more gold. Let's just, gra Let's just grab a gold block. Why not? There we go. And then... That's basically it. Okay. This actually shouldn't be too hard to make. Shouldn't be anything I can't handle. Uh, might even be able to make it right away. I don't know how much mana it actually takes to make those mana steel ingots, but I guess we'll find out. So, let's grab 
some iron blocks. Let's see, how many of these are we going to need total? We need four for this and four for that. So we're going to need a total of eight mana steel ingots. And we're going to need an iron ingot and a gold ingot as well. So let's make the mana steel ones first. One, two, three. Oh, that, that, that's all she wrote. That is all she wrote. Okay. Well, guys, let me go ahead and get some more um, of the mana built up, and I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys, I am back. What I One thing I did is I just took this mana spreader and turned it around, because these mana spreaders, they have kind of an internal buffer. And uh, basically, it holds mana. Now, it looks like these guys are going through it pretty quick, so I don't know how much it actually takes to make these, uh, these mana steel ingots, but I'm guessing it's not quite as cheap as I had thought. So, let me go ahead and uh, get some mana built up, and I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys, I am back, and I've got my eight mana steel ingots that I'm going to need. So let's go ahead and make a mana lens which we can then turn into a magnetizing mana lens. And from there, we can turn that into a ring of magnetization. Now, you can probably guess what this does. If we put that on, any item that we break will come right to us just like that. So this makes it a really useful item for mining and gathering, and all sorts of useful stuff. So, we got ourselves the Sojourner's Sash, and we got ourselves the Ring of Magnetization. Now we can actually get some really cool stuff done throughout the world. So, let's see. Let's get some of this stuff put away. I'm just going to kind of put it on, uh, kind of on standby mode, if you will. The Lexica Botania will leave here, and I'm just going to kind of leave those to generate mana. And uh, hopefully they'll build up a little bit of a surplus while I'm away doing other things. Now, I do want to do a little bit of exploring, see what I can find around me, because one thing that we do need to do, uh, as you can see in the upper right-hand corner of my screen, we've got kind of our skill tree up there. And there, you get levels in various things, and I need to get my hunter level up. Uh, which is the the cross swords. That's my hunter level. I need to get that up so that I can Ow, that wasn't very nice. I need to get that up So that I can take on some of the nastier mobs and uh, get into Some of these other dimensions, which is what this mod pack is famous for or is you know being uh, being advertised as the place to add all these additional dimensions and things and places and things to go and stuff. So, um, although on second thought, I don't know that we've really got time to do a proper overview of a lot of the combat. So maybe what we'd be better off doing is kind of, what are you? A naturalist. Hmm. A lot of these NPCs that we see running around are uh, just, they're just NPCs. They don't really, they have, uh, you can trade with them. They have uh, all sorts of goods and services to offer you and things. All right, there we go. So that guy's taken care of now. Let's see, what is the next step? Hmm. I'm thinking next. I'm thinking next we are going to take another look at Thaumcraft, because there is some more cool stuff in Thaumcraft that I'd like to kind of get into as well. So, let's find... Hey, now. Go away. Now, I did a whole bunch of research and stuff uh, rel related to Thaumcraft, between now and the last time that we looked at it. So I now have pretty much, well, I don't have pretty much all the aspects, but I've got a bunch of aspects unlocked that we didn't have before. Um, I also put up an arcane work table right here, which we can use to make some cool stuff. But I think the next step is probably the arcane lamp, which I can just research right away. Um, and maybe... 
Probably alchemy, honestly. Uh, we've got Nitor. Artifice. What's in here? Basic artificing. Let's see. Primal charms. Okay. Eh. Not super worried about those. The goggles are revealing I still need. I'll need some scribing tools. Thomic tinkering. Okay, that's probably going to come in handy. Where are my... Oh, here we go. Thaumaturgy. This is what I was looking for. Wand foci. We are going to want to get ourselves some wand foci because you can use those for some really cool things within the world. So let's grab some paper. Let's grab some scribing tools. And let's research wand foci. So we can take that research note that we just got to the research table. Plop it in there. And now we just got to figure out how these go together. So that shouldn't be too difficult. Let's see. Magic, void, and potentia. Potentia is fire. So if I went potentia, fire, potentia. Oh, that would actually be really easy to do. So we could go potentia. And then we could actually combine to make a few more of those. And we could just go potentia, fire, potentia. There we go. And now we have discovered wand foci. So, what that means is we should now be able to research pretty much all these various wands out here. Now, the one that I'm really interested in is equal trade, frost, excavation. Hmm... I think I'm going to have to research farther to actually get it. There's some really cool foci. One of them is the foci. I think it's like the foci of warding or something like that. And that's the one that I'm really wanting to get. Um, we should probably also research great wood wand cores so we can get ourselves a better wand. Oh, this one might be a little bit tougher. Maybe not. Let's see. Man... This is, what, Ordo? So we could put Ordo there. We said this is... Oh, no, that won't work. Wait a minute, maybe it will. We could go there, here, fire there, so then those are all connected. And then Arbor. What does Arbor? Light? Uh, I think life is a fairly safe bet. Now, is there anything that is light? And... Hmm. Light and Potentia. Well, light is fire. So, we could go Luke's. Like that. And put a fire there. And now we have discovered Greatwood Wand Cores. Sweet. So, what that means is we should now be able to make a Greatwood Wand Core. Which will hold more, um, more, more stuff, more magic, more, what's the, what's the actual term? I don't remember. I feel like I should know that. V. Holds V. There we go. So now, we can do that. We'll take our Great Wood Wand Core. And now we can make ourselves a slightly better wand. However, I do also want to get better wand caps. So we've got gold and copper. I'm thinking gold is probably the way to go. So let's take a look and see what we need for researching this. Okay, metallum. And instrumentum. Hmm, let me get this figured out, guys, and I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys, I got it figured out. So, gold wand caps. No? Did I not get it figured out? Are these not? Those should be connected. Hold on. No? Wait a minute. What did I mess up? I thought I had a solution. 
Maybe I'm losing my mind. Let's see, this is... Okay. Earth connects to... Order. With that, right? Yes. And then... Order and... Earth? Oh. Okay, so I think I put the wrong one there. There we go. That makes sense. Okay. So now, we can go in here and take a look at our gold wand caps. Those are all pretty easy. They require a small amount of air, but nothing, nothing I probably can't handle. So let's grab some gold nuggets. Let's come on down here. And let's make two of those. Ooh, except I don't have enough fire V. So, we'll have to go and get some of that. Hmm, I think I'll probably have to do that between episodes, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time. There's too many of them. I'm gonna I fire can't. into the crowd. I just crowd can't. Crowd control. I just crowd can't. Control. Crowd just... control. Well, let's keep running in circles. I'm here for the crowd control. I'm doing the best that I can, but there's there's so many. <laughs>